guys, it's Dr. Sammy, and today I'm doing something a little bit different. Uh, recently I came across Reddit, which is an online forum to share videos and content and ideas. And I created a page called San Diego Dentistry, and I didn't ask me anything where I told the Reddit community to ask me, the dentist, anything they want. Um, and I thought it was kind of interesting, some of the questions and some of the things that were being upvoted or the most popular questions. So I want to share it with you. One of the most popular questions or upvoted questions was the following. It's from uh, Toast with Tangerine, and it goes like this. I know this is kind of random, but is there a method to dentist, doctor, waiting room, furniture, feng shui, or feng shui, feng shui, I'm not sure. Also, what is your favorite part about being a dentist? So yeah, there's definitely some thought to how you want the ambiance of the dental office to appear like. You don't want to use a lot of reds, because reds induce anxiety. You want calm, pastel tones. You don't want a lot of clutter. You want it to be somewhat spacious. In our office, we trend towards maybe not so much modern, but more homey, because we feel as though that homey nature or attitude is something that makes patients feel more comfortable, at least it makes me feel comfortable. So yeah, and then favorite part about being a dentist, I could go on and on, but for me it's working with new technology, it's perfecting your skill with uh, your microscopic loops, it's honing your skills and getting as good as you can. So I know that might be a cop-out answer, but the list goes on. Uh, the next question says, if nine out of 10 dentists recommend a toothpaste, what toothpaste does the final 10th dentist recommend? I don't know. I don't know about these recommendations, toothpaste recommendations. Whenever I see these commercials on the TV, I kind of laugh to myself. I'm sure a lot of dentists laugh. The main thing that you need in your toothpaste, at least from a dentist perspective, is fluoride, which is a mineral that uh, can protect your teeth and make them stronger. But there's a lot of brands out there I just don't really recommend brands that don't have fluoride in it because fluoride has a remineralization property that can prevent cavities from developing. So that's what I would say. Here's a good one. Hi there and thanks for putting on this AMA. I have a phobia of needles. What can be done on both the doctor's and patient's part to overcome this fear? I've heard some dentistry that needles for the sleep part. Are there any medications that I can take that essentially render me unconscious before being posed? So that's definitely a loaded question, but I think I would answer that by saying needle phobia is a very real thing and that this particular person is not alone. Uh, a lot of people have needle phobia and a dentist can do a variety of things that make that initial injection a lot more comfortable. The best thing a dentist can do to make the injection as non-painful as possible is give a very slow injection. Maybe make the patient feel comfortable, whether it be with a joke or a comforting touch. Now, in terms of sedation, there are a lot of offices that provide oral conscious sedation or sedation that knocks the patient out completely and then you work on them. But, you know, I would recommend trying to overcome this fear without sedation so that you as a patient aren't spending so much money on getting knocked out to do a simple filling or a simple crown. Okay, next one. What's your favorite thing to do in San Diego? So, for me, honestly, um, I love video recording, that's why I have this channel. I got a vivid imagination. I love editing, I love uh, training in that regard. That isn't really something to do in San Diego. You know, my wife, she's a dentist as well, but she's doing a residency program in Fresno. And when she comes down, usually we just chill together. Maybe we'll go on a walk um, outside, we'll play some activities. We like to play tennis or golf or uh, honestly, if I'm, being, if I'm being completely honest, we just like to go to Target and get some Dijon pizza and just watch TV, so yeah. Does it matter if you floss before or after you brush your teeth? For me personally, the order doesn't matter as long as you do. Yo, you can do anything! Anything's possible! The world is yours! Charlie, did you- like You do it, if you're consistent, you do it in the morning, you do it at night, you brush your teeth for two minutes, uh, twice a day, then I'm a happy person. Here's a good one. A very common question, one of the most popular questions, which is what is the best method to whiten your teeth? I think there's a lot of misinformation regarding dental whitening products. So true whitening involves something called carbamide peroxide or hydrogen peroxide. And typically these whitening toothpaste don't contain these peroxides. They contain an abrasive type particle 
that will remove what we call exogenous or external stains, pressed white strips that you place on your teeth, that does have peroxide and that will truly re bleach your teeth. Um, the problem with the strips is that they don't match the natural anatomy of your teeth. So the next step up would be um, a custom whitening tray that the dentist makes. That one goes into the natural grooves and contours of your teeth. You apply a, a whitening solution, a peroxide solution, that is a little bit stronger percentage because the dentist is allowed to provide that to our patients. And that will whiten your teeth. And then the last whitening option would be an in-office whitening, where you come to the office, we put an acrylic barrier on your gums, and then we apply a, I believe it's a 40% hydrogen peroxide solution onto your teeth. Now it's very strong, 40% uh, hydrogen peroxide is very, very strong. So depending on whether you have sensitive teeth or not, you want to be a little bit you know, aware that you may have sensitivity after doing the in-office whitening. I think that wraps up this Reddit Q&A. I really loved answering all of these questions. Love, love, loved it. And of course, if the YouTube community has any questions, you can leave it down in the comment below and I would be more than happy to answer anything that you guys would like to hear about. And I think I'm gonna do this or do another AMA maybe tomorrow or sometime next week on Reddit because it's a lot of fun. It takes all day for me because I'm next to my computer answering as many questions as I can. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please leave a like or subscribe and I will see you in my next video. Have a good one.